was bopping my brodies. You know, my favorite comments to get when I do an episode of Worst Rappers in the Game is people just saying, well, that's your opinion. No sh what else would it be? Marius Lithrop, also known as Scarlord, is a rapper from Wolverhampton, which is in England if you don't know. Also, you can see there's an X in his name. That's just, he uses that in all his songs to replace O. I don't know if it's an artistic thing, if it's an edgy thing. Who knows? I think it's a bit of an edgy thing. Alright, 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 west side. Ha ha ha. from flip. Okay, okay, calm yourself. Today we're going to be discussing what I think of his music. Now, to get an opinion on his music, I listened to three of his albums. As always, that's what we always do in the Worst Rappers in the Game series. And those were his self-titled album, Chaos Theory, which I like to refer to as Chexus Thexry. I don't know, it just the X's again. And Rose. So, is Scarlord one of the worst rappers in the game? Let's find out. They wanna come for my life, but I'm pretending it's easy for me. Like I'm a spark in the night. I had to chase my enemies, see all my feelings. Don't pick up all my prescription, so cut off the pill and never deal it. And as always, for part one, we're gonna be looking at his voice and delivery. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have a first of a kind on here. Scarlord marks the first time that we have looked at a British rapper in this series. So that's pretty interesting. Now that I've gotten a little bit more into British rap, Scarlord's voice is actually pretty bearable for me and it actually sounds pretty nice a lot of the time. I think I like it because he does a much more Americanized style of rap. However, I'm not a fan of when he goes too American. And what I mean by that is on some tracks that came out more recently, he almost sounds like he's trying to hide his accent and put on an American one. That might work for a lot of people, but to me it was a little off-putting. You can hear this on the first verse of his track Goat. The way you ain't gang who you bang with. Bunch of broke fuck boys that you famous. It's weird because he switches back to his normal British accent in the second verse. I definitely prefer his voice when he embraces his Britishness. Like, check out tracks such as Surfing. It's over a kind of standard trap beat, but his unique vocals set him apart from most people. Like I said, I do like his voice when it's just natural. However, we're dealing with someone who also does screaming tracks here, and I thoroughly dislike every single shouting track he has done. They sound awful. To be fair, his Chaxis Thex again as I like to call it, album is listed as metal on Apple Music, but it sounds awful to me. I still listen to it because, you know, it's part of who he is, and, and a lot of the, the beats are rap, just with distorted ass kicks and that kind of stuff. Tracks like Death Punch are just completely unlistenable. <laughs> Screaming will never sound good to me. Honestly, I feel quite conflicted about his voice because there's there's quite a few different styles that he does. It's just that not all of them are for me. It's also a mixed bag when he decides to use auto-tune. It's very clear on tracks like My Fault that he can use it and it actually adds to the track, gives it a bit of a vibe. But then on tracks like Warzone or On A Night, the auto-tune just sounds really weird and off-key, and it just doesn't sound good. Like I said, I'm quite conflicted about Scarlord's voice. On one hand, it sounds pretty damn good when he just uses his normal voice, which he does a lot on his album Rose, but then there's just the shouting tracks, which I heavily dislike. There's the auto-tune that's just sometimes off-key, which ruins a lot of tracks. And his voice is starting- he's starting to make his voice more American. He's starting to kind of fake an American accent as his career goes on. And it just sounds very odd on some tracks. I'm gonna give him a 6.5 out of 10 here. Because I know his voice can be very good, but sometimes he just makes vocal choices that baffle me. He also does auto-tune ad-libs that sound really awkward on a lot of tracks, so there's that too. And for our second segment, we are gonna be analyzing his flow. I'd say I have more positives to say about his flow than negatives, so I am gonna start off with the negatives first. And there is one main problem here that's becoming more and more prevalent as this series goes on. It's coming up a lot more. And I'm sure you guys probably already know what I'm going to say. 
It's the A flow. Da 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 da. A. Ba, 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 ba. A. I'm tired of bringing it up, but I wouldn't if I didn't have to. Now I understand why it's used. It's, it's quite catchy, but Scar uses this flow so much to the point where it got boring to me when I was listening to his music. I heard an A flow and I would tune out because I'd heard it so much. Oh, the guy she said she's never had one like me. Uh, I'ma pull up to a spot of fuck her nicely down. Uh, we only fuck in the dark, yeah. I tell that pussy a bar, yeah. I'm like the black Tony Stark, yeah. I play with who ain't got no heart, yeah. I'll cover fights, Japan, yeah. I like to run up the beds, yeah. Do it cause I want it all, damn. Push it like I got the force, damn. Watch how I get it on board, damn. I'll come in out here on port, yeah. I wouldn't mind it if he used it on five or so tracks, but he uses it on so many tracks to the point where it just sounds lazy. I'd take a guess at saying over half the songs I listened to from him used an A flow, and that is way too much for a basic flow. Like, you, you don't have to try to write an A flow. Try it yourself. It takes a few minutes, if that, and you'll be done. Just write the same amount of syllables in each line and finish with an A, woo, ya, or damn. And you know why this annoys me so much? Cause Scarlord can flow incredibly well otherwise. My god he can flow well when he wants to. The second verse of Because I'm British got me so hyped up. The way he flows here is just exciting. Let me tell them, came from the land where the rap post cold is more. If you really wanna try, get smoke, no way. Will I ever wanna change my mode? It's on if you want them, man, get full like, uh. There's also songs like Heart Attack. I hate that song because he's shouting and it's distorted, but I wish I didn't hate it because he uses one of the best flows he's ever laid down on that track. God damn, that flow blew my mind. His flows are impressive and pretty versatile on a large amount of tracks. And the autotune track I mentioned earlier called My Fault shows that he can sometimes pull off singing flows that sound just fine. He clearly shows that he knows how to write a good flow. Overall, I'm gonna give Scar a seven and a half out of 10 here. That's not a bad score, but it's a shame because initially I genuinely thought he would compete with Ski Mask the Slump God for best flow in this series. I was seriously thinking Scar would score a nine in this segment at first, but he messed it up with his over-reliance on the A-flow, and it is an over-reliance, I mean it when I say that. It is incredibly noticeable. I have to emphasize, the issue isn't that he uses it, it's that he relies on it in so many songs. If he used that less, he'd score so much higher. Uh, for part three, we're gonna be looking at the lyrical content of his songs. Now, lyrically, Scarlord isn't too bad. I mean, he even says on the song Heart Attack that a lot of his lyrics have a deeper meaning than they sound like. And while I don't think that's true for a lot of his songs, he does have quite a few that are, that could be described as deep. And he does have some good lyrics scattered throughout his work. He definitely has some tracks that stand out as a lot more lyrical than others. Songs like Real Shit cover the topic of growing up and dealing with life, and I think that is an interesting topic to rap about, and he handles it quite nicely. There's also some nice wordplay on here when he says, I've got a lot of shit on my plate, I'll die before anyone else can get a taste. I thought that was, that was quite nice. There was some deeper meaning in that line, so... Definitely he has some lyrics out there that are pretty, pretty good. He does have some tracks with basic lyrics, but there aren't too many. My main issue comes with some of the distorted tracks and a few other ones that aren't distorted. And that issue is that sometimes, being the death metal type rapper that he is, he has some incredibly edgy lyrics and that never sounds good. A good rule of thumb is if some of your lines sound like they were written by an angsty teenager, it's probably best to scrap those lines. Let me show Show you some fun little examples.
So yeah, he has quite a few lyrics like that, and they're not that fun to listen to. Overall, I'll give him a 6.5 out of 10. He has quite a lot of good lyrics, and being a UK artist, he sometimes has some good wordplay. It's just the edginess that drags him down, and some tracks don't have much content. And for our fourth segment, we're going to be looking at his beat selection. His beats are another thing that I think are fairly good, but they aren't amazing. The camera's way too high, that has to come down a little bit. Is that good? I think that's perfect, that's perfect. There's a lot of flawed ones, and you already know that I hate 90% of the beats on Chaos Theory. That album just really wasn't good for me. The distortion honestly ruined most of the beats because on tracks like Death Punch, the beats initially sounded pretty good, but then the distortion kicks in and drowns out everything about the beat that makes it good. Beach. And on tracks like Gin Shot, the kicks are just placed so closely together that it sounds really messy. I'm sure if you like this type of sound, that track probably sounds quite exciting to you, but because I don't, it genuinely just makes my head hurt and it makes me want to skip the track. One of the worst beats he's ever used though was the one for his track called Spite. Whoever produced this Please, please just send me an email and explain what you were thinking. You can't tell me that flute doesn't sound ridiculously out of place. It just kills the entire vibe of the track and ruins the song as a whole. Another one I really didn't like was the beat for Achievements, because it kind of reminded me of Famous Dex. Of course, there are still a lot of good beats to be found across his albums. A lot of his songs have really good 808 patterns, and there's some really nice bass switches on his tracks. Just put on a good set of headphones and listen to tracks like Tuesday Morning. The goddamn bass patterns on there sound so good. Yeah, I just sparked one, about to spray like a sawn off shotgun, chill where I come from, move all kids don't care about conduct, you're not a bad man, you know someone that knows someone that's never been locked up. Also in his self-titled album, he raps over a lot of beats that have a beat breakdown at the end of the songs. He almost always sounds amazing over these beat breakdowns. My favourites were She Just Wants Clout and Vertigo. Yeah, I really had to get it on run, yeah, you know I make plays on my ones, uh, uh. My life is easy, fam, there's no discussion. You know I've been There are a few tracks as well where he kind of makes the distortion work. And that's the tracks where the beats are only slightly distorted. A great example of this is the track Godfather. It has super heavy kicks that slightly shake up the track, but it isn't to the point that it overpowers everything else. It just makes the track sound really hard. So overall, as a rating for his beats, I'm gonna give Scarlord another 6.5 out of 10. Again, it's just another kind of mixed bag because there are a lot of good beats that he used, but the, the distorted ones really do drag down his marks a lot for me. That is something I will never get into, and this whole kind of death metal type thing he has going on, I really do not appreciate it. It's not for me, but yeah, 6.5 out of 10 for the beats. And not to mention that it's not only for the distorted ones, there's also some that aren't distorted that just don't sound good, but there were some things that I liked. And now for part five, I'm gonna be telling you my overall enjoyment of everything that I have listened to from Scarlord. I honestly think Scar is the artist I felt the most conflicted about, as you can tell by how mixed each segment was in this video. Out of the three albums that I listened to from him, my favourite was definitely Rose. That is genuinely like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 album for me, it's really that good. There's some really good flows throughout, the beats are all very nice, there's very little distortion which became an issue in his later projects. It's just was from start to finish a very solid project, a nice mix of styles a variety, you know, it was good. It was really good. As for his self-titled album, it was okay, but there was a lot of stuff that just made it average. His use of auto-tune on there sounded so bad. There wasn't too many tracks that had a bunch of content in the lyrics, and there was a mix of rapping and distorted tracks on that one. And as you probably guessed, Chaos Theory or Chaxus Dexry, you're gonna start calling it that now, trust me, was my least favourite by a mile. That album just 
It's terrible to me. It's terrible. If you enjoy it, that that's great. I wish I could. But death metal is like my least favorite genre in the world. So when elements of that are incorporated into hip hop, I just, I, I hate that sound. I really dislike that sound. I don't like when death metal and hip hop are mixed. Honestly, even the straight up rapping songs on Chaos Theory weren't that incredible. And unfortunately, it looks like that is the road that Scarlord is gonna be continuing down because after I wrote this video, I quickly skimmed through his newest album, Lord Season. And oh my god, the death metal, the screaming and the distortion on there is so bad. It's too much. It's way too much. And maybe, okay, like, sure, he could be doing what his fan base wants. That's good. But this is my opinion video. This is my critique video. And I hate that. I hate the path he's going down musically. I would like his music a lot more if he continued down the rap path and made more straight up rap music tapes. But he does a lot of stuff that makes me not want to listen to him. But I am going to give him a 6 out of 10 for enjoyment. Rose really was a good album and it's very clear that Scarlord is talented. He's a talented rapper. He can pull off a variety of styles. It's just that not every single one of those styles is for me. There's a lot of stuff about his music that I dislike, but I will admit he has talent. I mean, he did used to be in a band, so that probably influences his distortion and screaming in his music. But yeah, overall, I'm feeling a 6 out of 10 for this one. And now finally, I'll be giving you my overall verdict and ranking of Scarlord against all the other rappers we have done in this Worst Rappers in the Game series so far. So overall, Scarlord scores a pretty high 33 out of 50. This places him at our number 5 spot out of the 18 rappers we've looked at. He was definitely one of the more talented rappers on here. This places him above Lil Yachty by a large margin and just 2 points below Ski Mask the Slump God. I'm hoping that Scar makes another album like Rose again because that one was so solid. But who knows? I guess only time will tell. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like. Obviously, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll try to have the next Worst Rappers in the Game out within two, three weeks, maybe. These ones do make a while to make. A, a few people have asked me recently, like, have you stopped making Worst Rappers in the Game episodes? Of course not. There's way more rappers that I can talk about. It seems like every few weeks there's a new rapper blowing up that I could talk about. So there's a lot of rappers I can talk about in this series. This series isn't going to end for a while. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You can follow me on my Instagram under the name CDTV Productions. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. This is CDTV Productions signing out. <laughs>